What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Aries for August, the rest of August 2020. Of the most exciting, positive thing happening to you this month, the rest of this month of August 2020, take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information for how to read me in a, reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like what I do and want to support my work, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. Low. Without any further ado, Aries, I have already gone pulled your cards off camera, like always for you, so let's get right into it. We only got Major Arcana, which is going to be large, 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 large things happening to you, so let's start off with Judgment, the Hangman, the Hierophant. Okay, so the Judgment card represents renewals, it represents second shots, it represents waking into your calling, walking the path that you are supposed to be. It's a karmic calling card. It is basically just indicating that whatever is happening here is happening for a reason. There is some sort of rebirth and repurpose when it comes to this spread in particular. There is something here that is relivable where there is something here that there is like a second shot and this is all happening I feel like because I feel like you allowed something in your life to happen instead of being so out of control like wondering why 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 does this happen this way I feel like the way that you approached this was part of the reason why you're having success now why success is coming in because I feel like you allowed things to pass. Something might have happened in your past where you needed to force a perspective. You needed to look at things in a completely brand new light. And this indicates that the um, the um, the hangman has done this in this situation where he literally strings himself upside down in a tree to force a new perspective. It is saying that this is what you had to do or what it is that you were going to be doing. You were basically just allowing things to happen as they come and kind of just riding the wave of life so to speak where you let this just you kind of just allowed this to happen i feel like you successfully stepped into your calling i feel like you might have been avoiding it before because usually we do you might have been avoiding it before and instead of um being so strict and stern no i don't want change i don't want this to happen you allowed whatever it was to happen and to pass in order for this to have a rebirth. Now it's very possible that this could have been for an actual relationship or that it is um, reforging itself into a new relationship, but this is a society's conformity card, the tried and true values in society. So instead of doing um, hookup culture and having sex with 50,000 people a day, this represents the, um, I'm also not slut shaming anybody here, God knows I've not have not been there, but um, this is the kind of card that indicates instead of doing that, you would go out and have a straight monogamous relationship, get married to that person, have kids, a white picket fence with a dog in the background. It's that kind of conformity in society where we have a tradition of what we like to do, and that that's just society's. That's just what society says. This is not. You don't have to live by this. This is not your rule book. This is not the guide to to Tom's life on what he has to do in order to be happy. That is what society is telling you. And I feel like that might actually be the lesson where it's possible that there could be a partnership here and that's what you are transforming from. Or this is going to be a very large lesson of kind of waking up and smelling the flowers as to what society wants from you. And I don't like society. I don't like the cultural norms um, in in society. I, I, I just don't agree with a lot of them. I think that uh, I, I just don't like them. I think that this is a card. I think that this is specifically a spread about kind of waking up and maybe smelling the flowers and having a completely different view on how you view society. But this is an insanely positive thing. So if you're looking at this and being like, oh no, I didn't want, this is not a negative spread. This is saying, this is probably going to build you into becoming your own, I'm not saying that this wasn't a thing before, but allowing yourself to become your own freer thinker. When we kind of come to our own conclusions about truths in society and the way that things are run, we are way more able to have a control over our own lives instead of living for what society wants, for what your mom wants, for what your pastor wants. You live for yourself and realizing that that is completely 100% okay. 
it, it could even be religion that you are doing this from, where you might be stepping away from a certain religion. That might be less so, but I do think that this is something that is happening to you to call you on a specific path. Um, away from some sort of mindset where I feel you weren't fully in control of what you were thinking and you might have let people influence your decisions. I do not see that. Even though this does represent conformity, I think that you are letting this conformity go. I think that this is... I did get the Two of Pentacles as to why the Hierophant was here earlier and I didn't, I didn't put it on camera, but I think he's still here. Yeah. So juggling in society what your ideals are, it, it's a fluctuation, it's trying to hold everything up together that it kind of indicating to me that you can no longer hold up your views on society and that you are questioning the way things work and you're questioning the way that things are run and you're, I feel like to you this might shake you a little bit um, because you, well, being, for anybody that goes through this, we're taught in society a very specific set of cultural and societal norms that you don't break like I'm not it's not like this a lot now well it's not that it's not like this a lot it's still fucking is a problem um but we have a lot more freedom as people that are are gay we have a lot more freedom with that now it doesn't mean that it's better uh, 100% or, or, or a large majority but it, we do have um for the most part no thanks to Trump, we do have for the most part freedoms in some aspects where before you could get crucified for those things. That's the type of thing in society where it's just such a... I don't want to get into the politics of this because this is not what I'm trying to make my channel into being the, the Haley fucking political agenda commercial, but this is... In society, we have things that should be recognized as okay and things that, you know, your sexuality, your identity, those things are you and specific to you. And nobody else should be able to get a say on what those are. I think that you are finding yourself. I think that you are realizing the truth of society. And I feel like you. this is a beginning. I think that you are just now stepping into this truth and you might be struggling with this. And I am here to tell you that if that is the path that you want to go on, honey, it is subjective. This is your story. You are not living for nobody else but yourself. You're not living for your dad. You're not living for your mom, your cat, your uncle Bob. It doesn't matter who it is. You are not living for anybody else's ideals. If you have your own set of ideals that you would like to follow, or your own faith, your own religion, your own societal standards, the own things that you want to find, that you, you believe in, it is subjective. That is 100% able for you to do. You can do it. And I don't like... I, I don't want to say, oh, this has consequences because, like, oh, your parents might not. That doesn't matter. Like, I mean, it does matter. I know it would matter to you. Um, but it, it's in the larger scale of things. It is not about them. It is about you. You came here for yourself to have this human experience. This is your story. You get to shape it. You get to shape it. Um, I'm pretty sure I said Aries, right? This is for Aries. I love you. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe. Bye.